recruiting Halson and Mithara, is it possible after patch 1 of Baldur's Gate 3? In this video we will explore the question of whether you can recruit both Halson and Mithara to be fighting companions and join your camp in Baldur's Gate 3 after patch 1 on August 25th, 2023, which stated that you cannot recruit both characters. Nevertheless, there is evidence that folks have done just that prior to the patch, is it still possible? Watch all the way to the end as we have many important tips gleaned from scores of hours testing possible scenarios. Minthara and Halson are diametrically opposed with Halson wanting to save his beloved Emerald Grove and Minthara bent on destroying it. Halson is a pretty boring lawful good companion but may be of interest if you want to romance a bear. Halson is one of two druid companions that you can recruit. The other is Jahira, who you will find at the last light in in Act 2. Minthara, the paladin, is a pretty interesting, chaotic, bad character. By going the neutral path of ignoring the goblin, tiefling, druid conflict, you may be able to give Minthara an interesting character arc in Act 2 and beyond. Giving into her desire to raid the Grove by direct assault will likely lose you Will and Carlock as companions. If you do not resolve the Grove conflict with the goblins by leaving Minthara alive, but in the dark about the location of the Emerald Grove, and either enter the Mountain Pass or the Shadow Cursed Lands via the Grimforge Elevator, then Minthara can be saved from Moonrise Towers after being sentenced to death for incompetence by General Ketherick Thorm, the big bad of Act 2. At the same time, entering the Mountain Pass or going up the Grimforge Elevator to Act 2 will lead ha to Halson's death immediately in the Goblin Camp. Prior to Patch 1, he would survive if you freed Halson from his cage as a bear in the warg pens in the northeast corner of the Goblin Camp. He could be told to wait there. If you followed the steps to lift the Shadow Curse by completely intervie interviewing the dead art or the alive art with his loot from the corpse of mouth of the storm then you could report that to Halson and he would join your camp prior to patch one upon lifting the shadow curse the big druid would become a companion for my dozens of tests on every conceivable scenario i confronted kaga the interim druid leader with the evidence of the shadow druids prior to knocking out or speaking to minthara and Halson. if you do not do this or kill kaga the rite will complete upon entering the Mountain Pass or the Grimforge Elevator. See my video about that in the description. Knocking out Minthara or Halson by toggling on non-lethal attacks is almost always treated as death for these characters. If you knock out Minthara without telling her the location of the grove, she will die for the purposes of the game and will not be at the trial before General Thorm upon entering the Moonrise Towers without fighting the first time. If you knock out Minthara at the Battle of the Emerald Grove, then she is dead and cannot be revived. After a long rest, Minthara's body disappears after being knocked out, giving the false hope that she may be captured at the Moonrise Towers, but the log discourages this hope, saying she has been eliminated. The only exception is if you knock out Minthara after telling her the location of the grove, but before she leaves the Goblin Camp's main building. Then long resting revives her, and your journal will update to say she is amassing forces to assault the grove. Thanks to no Jake for tipping me off on this exception where knocking out Minthara will not kill her in Act 1. See the link to the video in the description as well as our other videos. Halson will refuse to leave the goblin camp until Minthara is dead except in the situation where you tell Minthara the location of the grove. Then he will turn into a mouse and you cannot see him after the battle of the emerald grove. If you knock him out in the goblin camp before Minthara is dead in er any scenario he will be dead after a long rest. You can revive him with speak with dead spell, potion, or scroll, and he will tell you the drow killed him. Halson cannot be let out of the goblin camp. His bare form becomes the equivalent of, to a summons if you ask him to join you. But the dialogue refusing to leave the goblin camp will pop up if you go out the front door or fast travel and he will not leave. You can prevent him from killing Minthara, but you cannot force him to leave the goblin camp. One glitch that reportedly worked prior to patch one inconsistently was dropping Minthara in the chasm. The bridge has one hit point 
over the chasm. I tried dropping both Minthara and Halson, only one at a given save, in the chasm. When I dropped Halson, he was protected by Featherfall. Minthara was not an ally, so I could not cast Featherfall on her. Both were dead when I entered Act 2 or the Mountain Path. Minthara is dead if she is not on trial in the Moonrise Towers, and except with the chasm method, Halson's body can always be found after going to the Mountain Pass or Act 2. The good news is that with either Halson or Minthara alive in Act 2, that is, with all three goblin leaders defeated or with the Goblin Grove conflict unresolved, respectively, you can retain Will and Carlock as companions if you recruited either or both prior to going to the Mountain Pass or Act 2. You can return to the Act 2, Act 1 maps after going to Act 2 as long as you have not yet decided the fate of the Night Song in Shars Temple. If the goblins are not completely defeated by either the three goblin leaders or winning the Battle of the Emerald Grove on the side of the Druids and Tieflings, then Carlock cannot get the repairs to her overheating infernal em- engine from Damon in Act 2, as most of the Tieflings disappear in Act 2. I have no reports of Damon appearing in Act 2 or Act 3 if the goblin threat is not eliminated. Thus, if you plan to focus on romancing Carlock throughout the game, you will want to forsake Minthara as a companion and a camp follower and kill her in Act 1. I have a video on lifting the Shadow Curse, but it's pretty unsatisfying as it's only a cutscene at the end of Act 2. You don't actually get to spend time in a non-Shadow Cursed Act 2 map. Personally, I think almost but not quite eliminating the Goblin threat and saving Minthara in Act 2 is a more compelling choice having played both. Nevertheless, if you want to maximize the good outcomes for Carlock and you are on track for the Save the Tieflings trophy or achievement, then you must side with Halson and kill Minthara in Act 1. You cannot both recruit Halson and Minthara into your camp at once if you've not already done so after Patch 1, which rolled out on August 25th, 2023, based on my extensive testing. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Baldur's Gate 3. Let me know your experiences in the comments section below.